I think it's just the creative. It's the creative brain, yeah, because there is yeah. no right answer, especially when it comes to creativity. Yeah. It's just how it touches you and how other people perceive it, and you kind of have no control of it. So that's quite freeing in a, in a weird sense. And then you have to go away and let it go. Let it go, which is the hardest thing to yeah. do, especially when you're doing something like photography or film or TV. You know, once it's made, you, it's out there. You can't change it. Yeah. So you do just have to let it go and leave it to the audience and see what they take away with it. Do you enjoy watching yourself back? No. Oh my God, no. Hate it. If I could not do it, I wouldn't. <laughs> the, only time, the only time I would is is uh, if I'm like looking for um, constructive criticism for myself, that is the only time. But if I could not watch anything that I'm in, I would happily not watch it. So have you watched that one? I have. You have? Yes, I have. I've got the screeners through. And uh, I mean, it's a bloody brilliant show. I'm so excited for the audience to see it. Um, but I didn't enjoy watching myself, but seeing my friends and how much work they've put into it and just sitting there like a proud mum yeah. was, was an amazing feeling. I think the things I've done, because it's always such a collaborative experience, um, I do like to go in with the mindset of, uh, you know, this is a family working together, you know, the last person at the back and the person at the centre is just as equally important. So when it comes to work, you know, when, when I'm not acting, it's, it's about all of us. When I'm acting, of course, I'm in the character. Uh, but the things I do for myself are like the me time, not talking to people and just kind of recharging from my own energy and my own sense of um, morals and what makes me happy. And then I can share all of that when, you know, when I am surrounded by lots of people. If I wasn't playing an urge in Shadow and Bone, which would kill me, I would probably play Bagra, she's like the mother, all-knowing, she's the oldest being in the show so far in terms of, you know, hundreds of years old, older than the Darkling, and she is just a force to be reckoned with, and I think that's quite fun. Is the goat coming back for season two? You know what, I actually don't know, it was such a long time ago. I think, I think there's like one scene where it's... Cameo. Yeah, it's, it has a cameo, it does have a cameo. So it will be and... Goat, like It'll be the crows place. and the goat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amita. Thank We've you. We've got some more looks to do. I need to have blue hair, apparently. Sorry? Okay.